Joe submitted an email with with a Twitter thing here about right. Punk Alvarez. Let me explain. Let me explain this. So last week, Punk came out against Alvarez on Twitter. Alvarez was reporting stuff about Punk, you know, having his image taken off the promotional materials for Collision, and there's problems and this and that. And Punk and Alvarez apparently have had heat for years. Right? Well, he called him out before he ever went to New York and said he would never main event or anything. Okay, that's the clip I was going to play. But yeah, just, you don't have to play yeah. the clip. Okay, yeah. Alvarez yes. was talking about Punk before he ever went to New York and said, this guy's never going to main event. This guy. But how long is... Wait, 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 wait one second, Disco. How long is the clip? Two minutes. minutes. Two minutes. Play it because I've never heard it, and a lot of people probably never heard it, but you have. So okay. go ahead. Yeah, 219. And the reason I, you know... I, I wanted to play it is because Alvarez is saying a lot. I don't have a problem with him. I don't have a problem with him, but this is uh, a little suspicious, you know. Such as? Because everybody deep down really knows the answer. Do you really need Dave to tell you? I see. And, you know, CM Punk, every every couple of weeks, somebody posts a CM Punk question. You think CM Punk's going to make it big? You think CM Punk's going to, you know, what, what what's the future for CM Punk? The future for CM Punk is, is the present, basically. Mm-hmm. He might he might rise a little bit higher, but the ECW brand is in trouble. CM Punk is not in this lifetime going to be a main eventer on SmackDown. CM Punk in this lifetime is not going to be a main eventer on Raw. If you'd like to get mad at me for making these statements, if you'd like to take it out on me, you may be my guest. Or you can just wait a couple of years and look back and realize that, in fact, I was calling it like it is. And I have nothing against Mr. Punk. I realize he stole young Maria. You did break your heart once. A year ago on uh, on Christmas. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, one of the two. But seriously, I was never going to meet Maria in my life. Let's, let's look at things realistically. This has nothing to do with any of that. He doesn't have the WWE look. Mm-hmm. He is not the classic WWE worker. No. He will always have people in positions of power that hate him. Yes. And thus, he will be here for the rest of his life. And if, if this saddens you, like I said, don't yell at me. Yeah. I am not a booker. I don't even work for WWE. I'm never there. I'm just telling you. <laughs> All the right, answer- that's good, Joe. Yeah, and Punk. In Bro, the- that did not age well. Yeah, What's and this, in- was, this was 17 years ago. Punk's Instagram Oh, 17. Tweet- yeah, it's 2006 you say this. Or Punk's Instagram post uh, alluded to the fact that he thinks Alvarez has always had a problem with him because Alvarez had a crush on the girl Maria that Punk dated, which Alvarez mentioned uh, there. So I don't know. I, you know. I don't know. It's kind of yeah. weird. Um, just another, I mean, those guys have, you know, that's just another long list of these guys. Are, they're not right about a lot of things. 